Hello everyone! Welcome back again to my channel. It's me, of course, Brenda for Travel. In this video, this is the continuation of my previous blog titled The Spanish Steps and the Spanish Square, one of the most visited squares in Rome. In this video, I'm going to show you the most beautiful fountain I ever seen in Rome named the Fountain of Trevi or Fontana di Trevi in Italiano. From the Spanish Square, we walk through all the streets and we arrive in the Fountain of Trevi. It was easy access for us to go in the famous places in Rome because we took a free tour guide from website so guys if you like or interested about the free tour guide you can comment below I can I can help you somehow so I'm so excited to show you the most most for me is the most beautiful fountain I ever seen in Rome so let's go guys, pasok natin ang intro! This is Sant Andrea delle Frati or St. Andrew of the Tickets is a 17th century basilica church in Rome, Italy dedicated to St. Andrew, the cardinal priest of Titulus. The current church was built over a pre-existing one erected in 1192, called Enfra Hortes amidst the orchard, whence the name Frate thickets from Byzantine Greek. It was located in the countryside area in the northern edge of the inhabited area of medieval Rome. This is Nasoni, plural Nasoni, also called the Fontanella, plural Fontanelli. Literally meaning large nose, they got their name from their characteristic design first introduced in the 1870s. There are approximately 2,500 to 2,800 Nasoni in Rome, supplying citizens and tourists with free drinking water. Se schiacci più forte viene fuori Coca Cola. A professionista? Perché qui abbiamo il prosecco così. This one guys is a landmark where the people who was walking or living there. And where I am standing right now it's a new street where is it existing until this time. This is the Trevi Fountain in Italian Fontana di Trevi. It's a fountain in the Trevi district in Rome, Italy. Designed by Italian architect Nicola Salvi and completed by Giuseppe Panini and several others. Standing 26.3 meters, 86 feet high and 49.15 meters, 161.3 feet wide. It is the largest baroque fountain in the city and one of the most famous fountains in the world. The fountain at the junction of three roads, 3V, marks the terminal point of the modern Aqua Virgin, the revived Aqua Virgo, one of the aqueducts that supplied water to ancient Rome. Busy supposedly with the help of Virgin, Roman technicians located a source of pure water some 13 kilometers, 8.1 meters from the city. This scene is presented on the present fountain's facade. However, the eventual enteric road of the aqueduct made its length some 22 km, 14 meters. This aqua virgo lead the water into the baths of Agrippa. It served room for more than 400 years. 
The name of the Latin fountain derives from the Latin word trivium. Intersection of three streets, looking at the fountain, we see the ocean in the center, which has a long beard, synonymous with wisdom, and a scepter. The statue is located right in the center of the Krochiki Street, Poli Street, and Deli Moretti Street. During the 6th century, the aqueducts were not well maintained and the fortune functioning ones were damaged following the invasion of the Ostrogoths. The virgin water aqueduct carries the water to the Trevi Fountain after having collected it 10 km from Italian capital. The aqueduct is still in use today despite some interventions during which the fountain remained empty. Calcium-free water is thought to be one of the causes. Coin throwing coins are purportedly meant to be thrown using the right hand over the left shoulder. This was the theme of 1954. Three coins in the fountain and the Academy Award winning song by that name would introduce the picture. An estimated of 3,000 euros are thrown in the fountain each day. In 2016, an estimated 1.4 million euros or 1.5 million US dollar was thrown in the fountain. The money has been used to subsidize a supermarket for Rome's needy. However, there are regular attempts to steal coins from the fountain even though it is illegal to do so. In 1629, Pope Urban IX, finding the earlier fountain insufficiently dramatic, asked Gian Lorenzo Bernini to sketch possible renovations, but the project was abandoned when the Pope died. Though Bernini's project was never constructed, there are many Bernini touches in the fountain as it exists today. An early influential model by Pietro da Cortona preserved in the Albertina Vienna also exist, as though various early 18th century sketches. Most unsigned as well as a project attributed to Nicola Michetti, one attributed to Ferdinand de Fuga, and a French design by Edme Bocardon. Competitions had become popular during the Baroque era to design buildings, fountains, as well as the Spanish step. 1730, Pope Clement XII organized a contest in which Nicola Salve initially lost to Alessandro Galilei, but due to the outcry in Rome over a Florentine healing wound, Salve was awarded the commission anyway. Work began in 1732. Salve died in 1751 with his work half finished, but he had made sure a barber's unsightly sign would not spoil the ensemble, hiding it behind a sculptured base called by Romans the Asa di Cope, the Ace of Cups. Because of its resemblance to a tarot card, four different sculptures were hired to complete the fountain's decoration. Pietro Bracci, whose statue of Oceanus sits in the central Niki, Filippo della Valle, Giovanni Grossi, and Andrea Bergondi. Giuseppe Panini was hired as architect. The Trevi Fountain was finished in 1762 by Panini, who substituted the present allegories for planned sculptures of Agrippa and Trivia, the Roman Virgin. It was officially opened and inaugurated on 22 May by Pope Clement XIII.
so that's for today's video guys i hope you like my video and please if you like comment below and do not forget to subscribe my next vlog is surprise is another another beautiful place in rome i hope i can see you there again thank you so much and god bless us bye